OK folks, we'll get straight down to it. Now first thing, open a colour clip. I've chosen a pink colour and I drag that to the timeline, stretch out and I add a text simple filter. Now I type London and position it centrally on the screen and I choose quite a bold looking font. Now I add a thick outline in black, increase that a little bit and I export that as a frame. So it's file export frame and I give it a name and it's saved as a PNG file. Okay now I close shortcut then open it and then I re-import the PNG file into shortcut adding a new track uh, two tracks and then I drag that to the timeline stretch it out now I've downloaded a video of a waving flag which I got from YouTube and I place it on V1 then I add a chroma key filter to the color clip and I use the eyedropper to make the white text part invisible this makes the waving flag show through the text. Next, add an opacity filter and reduce the opacity. And then I apply a size and position filter to the flag video. Select distort and then I can resize and reposition the flag so that it goes behind the London text. There we are. Okay, now remove the opacity filter. Move the color clip to the beginning and then I export this as an MP4. There we are, give it a file name. Then close and open Shotcut and re-import this video into Shotcut. Next I'm going to import a clip with some nice London shots and I put it on V1. Next position the clips and apply another chroma key filter to the pink clip and remove the pink colour with the eyedropper and the London video shows through. Now open a transparent clip and put it there and then slide the transparent clip across the pink clip to make a transition. And do the same on the other end. I can use that transparent clip there. Again, slide across backwards and you get two transitions which are dissolved by default. Now select the transition, go to properties and go down to bar horizontal and do this for both transitions. And this is the effect you get. A nice revealing text effect. Now add a new track and open a text clip, then type the word visit, position it and choose a suitable font There we are. and drag this to the timeline, position it further, oh bit higher, there we are and then add a fade in and a fade out by double clicking the black flashing circle. Now click adjust opacity instead of fade with black. Change the colour of the visit text, I think I'll choose blue. And there we are. Yep, looking good. Now just prepare for export, I shall trim the end here and then adjust the beginning, make that a bit shorter, move everything forwards and export as an MP4 video. And it's done. And here's the result.